Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jake and Liz with the Hooligans in Love podcast. And this episode is sponsored by Soap Operas. It's soap that sings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Hooligans in Love on Instagram, Facebook, and also our YouTube channel and wherever else you listen to podcasts. So, Jake, why haven't we done a podcast in a while? I don't know. Don't know. Why haven't we? I don't know. It's been like three weeks. <laughs> yeah. I got a text from somebody today, and they were like, okay, did you die? And I was like, no, I'm not dead. So we're not dead. No, we're not. No. We've just been a little busy with the a holiday. Busy. Well, Halloween's and... Halloween's? The Halloween. Okay. And uh, just other stuff has come up. Just other things. Yep. Okay. So what's new? Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Okay. Same shit, different day. Same. Wow, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Why? Because too many dumb people say that. So you're saying I'm dumb? No, I'm just saying a lot of dumb people say that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. They say it all the time when I was younger. No, I don't care. Don't say it now. Why? Because. It's not that big of a deal. It bothers me. Everything bothers you. I know. Give me five minutes. Okay. I'll give you a list. Wow. Sorry, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. So what are we talking about today, Jake? Uh, shit I hated as a child. Just you? Well, shit we hated as children. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to start? Yes, because you probably have a list of it. Because you're a little extreme. I think people are noticing that about you. Uh-huh. Okay, so what are they? Do you want me to name them? No, just in description, describe, so people Snow, know. Snow, yard work, lagoon, trampolines. That's only four things. Um, hey, I'm not done. Any sports activity at school? Even running? Well, to see you would, like, go play, like, basketball on the, with everybody else, and then they'd be like, That was a foul! Slash, you can't do that. That was a dribble. Did you ever play flag football? Double dribble. No, because you just, like, end up getting your ass kicked anyway. You never played flag football in school? No, you had to have the flags and then... Too much equipment. You might as well just tackle each other. They can't do that. Well... Unless you're on the football team. That's why it's called flag football in PE. Do they still call that PE? I don't know. Neither do I. I don't know. What else? I'm talking about when I went to recess. Recess was the best. What are, what, what are you talking about? I love when it was recess. I'm talking about you would go to recess uh-huh. and you want to take as little equipment as possible. So you wouldn't take like any of the dodgeballs or like the... What's that swinging chain thing? What That's the, called a tether ball. Tether, tether ball. <laughs> or hopscotch. You can play hopscotch. No. What would you do on recess then, Jake? Hmm. Well, in the wintertime, I made a lot of snowballs. Did you throw them? No, they were like the really big snowballs. Oh, so you take a big, the small one and then start rolling yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. And then you get it to where it's like, I don't know. Bigger than eight you. Eight feet tall. <laughs> and then you got every kid around the playground helping you push this snowball. That was, yeah. Wow, and then you get grass in it, too. Yeah, and dog poop. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad times. And then, like, you could only push it so far one way, so then you had to switch to the other side, and then you would go that way. Yeah, I remember that. Interesting. I never did that. Yeah. I got, I got those to be at least eight feet tall. And then I would come back the next recess and it would be destroyed. By other kids. Yeah. Assholes. I know. Dicks. I never did that. I was more of a hopscotch bars type of a girl. Oh, that's my other complaint. You'd go to play on the monkey bars. Not the monkey bars. Whatever. The bars. Okay. And then it would leave your hand smelling like metal. 
You know what happened to when you play on the bars long enough? You start getting blisters yeah. on your hands. And you start getting all this metal shit all over your hands. Do you know what I would do? Look at all No, ew, gross. No, like we would do the bar, you know, the spinning. Have you ever, did you guys ever have to do no. that? Oh, well, back in the day when I was young, we would spin on the bars. Mm -hmm. Then we would take our... Uh, we would we would have to make sure we had long sleeves because they'd give us bruises right here. Then we'd go like this and spin as fast as we can. That was so fun. Probably kill me now if I did it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Never heard of anyone doing that. We did it all the time. Me really? and Angie. Really? Yep. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, she could listen to this. Well, she could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so winters in utah sucked when i was younger really yeah because when i was younger back in my day back in my day when i was younger it was the real utah weather so like your freaking snow was up to your eyeballs you had to walk through it to school they would have snow days they don't have snow days anymore i don't know but they would have snow days where they just closed the school. Hmm. I had a couple of those suckers. What was the worst winter you can remember? I remember when I was in the third grade. Maybe it was the second grade. What, what year was that? I don't know, whatever year. 1922. <laughs> when I was in second grade and the snow was up to my waist. And I was, you know, second mm -hmm. grader. Mm -hmm. So, no. I'm thinking of my, my waist now. So it was like up... It was pretty deep. My mom let us go play all this for a little bit, and then we got too cold, and it was bad. You wind know that wind, wind chill? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Worst winter I can ever remember as a kid was the winter of 1994. Well, maybe, maybe 95 or six, uh, somewhere in there. But that was bad times. No, 95. I wasn't loving that pair. Winter, mm, winter of 95 was pretty bad. I think we had two snow days in a row. Wow. Yeah. That I was miss, cool. I sometimes miss the, the Utah weather. No, like you don't. That. No, yeah. you don't. No. Yeah. No. With the holiday season coming, it no. kind of gets me into no. the spirit of Christmas no, it doesn't. and all that. I love a no, white Christmas. No, it doesn't. You know no, I love a Christmas. No, it doesn't. You know I love a no, white Christmas. No, it's no stupid. It's, it's, it's extremely dumb. Nothing good about it. It's cold. Yeah. That's why it sucks. <laughs> but we don't have to work out of it. So we have to do work about it. No. There's nothing good about winter. And don't go, it gets me in the Christmas spirit. It does. No, it, you know it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What do people in Jamaica say? I don't know. I don't exactly. Know. I've always lived in Utah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't help you in the Christmas spirit. Sometimes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Can I just say a yeah. side note? So what? Uh, Thank God Halloween's over. Oh, I love Thanksgiving now. All that yummy food. So first we go from talking about Christmas to Halloween. And now you're on to Thanksgiving? Well, Thanksgiving's two weeks away. Uh, so. Thanksgiving's yummy. All the desserts, the turkey the potatoes and the stuffing and you get to go take a nap yeah, afterwards. Yeah, pe people know what's in Thanksgiving dinners. <laughs> Maybe some people have it differently. Your family has freaking tacos for Thanksgiving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember my first Thanksgiving with your family. Uh -huh. I was expecting this nice big Thanksgiving dinner. I walk into your sister's house. It's tacos. Some people celebrate it differently. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Maybe some people don't have the turkey and the dressing and all that other great stuff. Like you, your family. Great. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well. We're not uh, even talking about the subject we were supposed to be talking about. No. No, we're not. We're on something totally different now. Yep. You got anything else on the subject that we were talking about? Like, which one? The one we were talking about right now? Or the one that we were talking Either about. Either or. I love Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know if I love Christmas. Why? 
Well, one, by the end of it, you're freaking poor. That's because people go do stupid, spend money they don't have. Charge their credit cards up the yin-yang. Hey, hey. Not all people. Most people. Who? I don't know. Oh. Well, not us. No, because uh, we don't use our credit card. We're cheap. Mm-hmm. Well? I just like the Christmas spirit. Uh-huh. Like the Christmas of, like, giving and being with family and just the warmth of being in by your tree and everything. I am definitely a bah humbug. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, but you really have a good way of faking of being a happy-go-lucky I am in this Christmas and Thanksgiving spirit. No, I... Yes, you do. Lies. Not lies. Lies. I don't believe it. Yeah. I'm a bah humbug. Yeah, but then when people are around, you're all like, happy-go-lucky Jake. Give me some eggnog. I'm making homemade eggnog this year. Who gave you that idea? You did. Yeah. See, sometimes I have good ideas. Yeah. Yes, you do. So, so what else did you hate uh, when you when you were a kid? Well, we never really talked about me hating a trampoline. Okay, why did you hate a trampoline? Trampolines are fun and they're good exercise. Okay, let's talk about why I hate this. Because people yeah. when they jump. Well, yeah. And then you had to jump how everybody else wanted you to jump. And they were like, hey, stand here. And, you know. No. Didn't you play Crack Just the some... Egg? No, I never played Crack the Egg. Why? I don't know. Did you ever learn how to do tricks on trampolines? No. Black flips? Do I look like the Front type flips? of person that does tricks? No, I just... What kind of a childhood did you have? Listen, don't worry about it. You just jump on the trampoline. And then you jump so much you get sick. And then you're over to there in the corner throwing up. What kind of a trampoline were you jumping on? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I just know that I never liked them. I loved them. Me and my sisters always jumped on trampolines. You know what Susanna would do? She'd get on, like, the roof and take a jump off and, like, land on the frickin' trampoline and then, like, oh, good lord. Wow. She's done that, you know, two years ago. No, maybe five years ago when my mom had that trampoline in the backyard in her old house. Uh -huh. She jumped off the roof and landed on the trampoline. <laughs> She's, like, 37 years old. <laughs> Did she end up on the moon? No. No. Wow. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Susanna would always do that. I'd be too scared. I thought I was going to kill myself. Yeah. I just remember jumping on the trampoline at Scouts. And by the way, that's another thing I hated doing when I was a child. Scouts? Oh, my God. Put a bullet in my head. Yeah. Scouts were pretty stupid. I never did them, but I heard about it. It was like, we're going to go camping this week. And I'd be like, do you know who I am? <laughs> I hate camping. This is horrible. Well. Well. How long did you have to do it for? What, scouts? Mm -hmm. I don't know. When did you stop? Like eight. Eight? Two. Uh, that's it. Fifteen or sixteen? That's a long time to do something that you hate. Yeah, it wasn't my choice. Jake, you're Jake. You mm. have a choice. It's not like hey, you hey, hey. I was made do to whatever go. your I was tell made you. to go. It was the worst. Your mom put a gun to your head. No, it was more like, do you want to ride to school in the morning? Huh? Oh snap! I hated scouts. What else? Um, yard work. 
I think everyone hates yard work. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Even as an adult, I hate yard work. I I appreciate yard work more now than I did then. I still hate it. I'll do it, but I hate it. Like raking, well, I don't really rake leaves. I mow them up, but I pick just. I hated it a lot more then than I do now. Yeah, the yard work just sucks. Um. Yeah, my big one was trampolines. I don't understand. That. I hated trampolines. That's weird to me. That's the biggest thing that kids love is jumping up and down and playing on it and running around. I don't around. know. I don't know. I get very motion sickness. Or not very so. No, that didn't make any sense either. Yet. I get motion sickness, sickness easily. Okay? I hate trampolines. Hate them. I got it. Now, what's wrong with Lagoon? Lagoon? Same thing with trampolines. I don't like going up high. I get motion sickness. They have, they have rides that don't go up high. Hey, I'm good. You can go on the Dragon Roller Coaster. Yeah, that's about the only one I ever went on. And the merry-go-round ride a horse thing. Well, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. So. Or is that turning thing that goes really, really, really fast. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Me and my sisters always got that sucker going quick. I'm good. See, I don't, I don't, I don't have a lot of complaining about my childhood. I do. My grandparents made it. My grandparents and my parents made it really excitable. Excitable? Yes. Hmm. Like my, we'd go camping. Yeah, I hated that. In a motorhome with my that. grandparents, we'd go on trips. We would go to my grandparents' house and just swim in their pool. I never had one of those. A grandparent? Well, if we did, that was all the way in California. You know, I'm not like your people. My people? Who have grandparents that live in Murray. They don't live there anymore. I'm just saying. And then so. we would uh, sleep over at my grandparents' house and they'd feed us. Yeah. Because my mom uh -huh. would let us have good cereal. What's good cereal? Like the good cereal, like the yeah. sugary cereal. Like Frosted Flakes? So, because we were kind of poor. So when we go to my grandparents' house, my grandparents would have like this cupboard full of cereal. The good shit? The good shit. Hmm. It's like a gold mine. Grandparents are the best. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. See, I don't have it. The, I think the worst thing that I hated the most is I was always in the hospital. No, because I always cracked my head open. Oh. I was. I had a lot of stitches when I was younger. Really? Yeah. See. Maybe you should watch where you fall. I didn't do it. My sister pulled me off, and I slammed my head against my toy box. Wow. Pulled me off my top bunk and slammed my head in. And then I stepped okay. on a sprinkler and I busted my freaking toe open because I wasn't wearing socks and shoes. Hmm. And then I stabbed myself in the head with a knife because I was bored. I don't know how that one happened, but I don't want to go any further. I was going like this with the... I was poking at the wall and I missed the wall and I went... <laughs> wow. Wow. And then I, sl I cut my finger open, but I didn't have stitches. I just put a band-aid around it. And, uh... See, that's the other thing. Then when my mom got home, she's like, oh my gosh, you're bleeding. <laughs> that's the other thing. I don't believe in band-aids. You would if you had Just put some tissue on it, a little bit of black tape, bam, bam, bam. This one, my finger, you can see the bone. And my mom, you know, is a nurse. So she's like freaking out because she's like, you need stitches. And I'm like, I'm not going to the doctor. Okay. We're just going to put a bandaid on it. It'll heal itself. Well, it healed crooked. So <laughs> well, my finger's crooked. <laughs> Let me see. Which one? See how it, there's a gap? See, <laughs> you're, you're such an idiot. <laughs> see, this one closes? Yeah. This one has a gap. <laughs> 
<laughs> How old were you when you did that? Uh, I was cooking macaroni and cheese, and you know those glass pots that they used to have? No. They were brown. Okay. Um, I broke it, and I was picking it up, and it sliced my finger open. I don't know, I was probably like in the fifth or sixth grade. And my mom was at work, and my sisters were somewhere else. Nobody was watching me. So I wanted to macaroni and cheese. And then when my mom came home there, <laughs> it was bad. So you were like eight? Yeah. My mom was a single mom. You're, you're, you're so stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not. You just never go to the doctor. I hate the doctor. Well, learn no. to like it. No way, mister. I think that's the thing I hated the most. Was all the doctors I had to go to because of my stitches and all the injuries I had. And probably. That's about it. <sighs> you frustrated me. I'm sorry. The one in my head? Uh huh. The one that my sister pulled me yeah. out of the bunk bed? I could see my skull. That's how deep it was. Wow. It was like bleeding. I was like, when I, uh, Came out of my room because <laughs> I was so lightheaded because I lost so much blood. I came out to my room and I was like, Mom, I think I need to go to the doctor. And the blood was just draining down my head. You look like Nate Diaz. <laughs> yeah. And my mom freaked out. And I ruined my favorite shirt. My favorite, it was an Arizona pink shirt. It had a rainbow on it. Would, would, would you still wear that shirt today? No. It okay. was my favorite shirt when I was younger. I ruined it. I had blood everywhere. It seems like you find really good ways to always ruin one of your shirts. Well, I think I ruined this one. I don't know what that is. <laughs> huh. So. I don't, I don't know what to tell you about that. That's, what, that's the only thing. I it's hate. like chocolate or something. No. I don't, I don't have any chocolate today. We're on a sugar-free diet, Jacob. I'm just saying. Um, that's about it. I like trampolines. I loved Lagoon when I was younger. Yeah, he didn't hate them. Lagoon's kind of boring now. Um, I loved camping. Hated it. Uh, I love going on vacation. Um, I like going on vacations with you. Um, <laughs> uh, that's about it. Okay. I don't have anything like you do, like dramatic, because I had a pretty I, good. I'm I not, had a pretty good. I'm not dramatic. I think I had a pretty good, happy childhood. My parents and my grandparents made it very I'm enjoyable. Not, I'm not dramatic. I just know what I don't like. You're See? just weird. No, no, I'm just very defined. I think you're weird. <laughs> I'm not weird. I just know when I don't like something. It's true. So always try it out, though. What? At least you try it out, though. Try what out? Before you say you don't like it, at least you try it out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like camping. I can't camp anymore. I'm too old. Too old? Yeah. It just doesn't... I don't want to... Why would I go out and live in a tent for two days at a hard surface when I can just sleep in my bed or go get a hotel and do it that way? I never understand. I mean, I liked it when I was younger, but now I'm looking, I'm like, why do people do that? Go out in the wilderness, sleep on a hard it's called the ground yeah hard ground in a tent where anybody could just slice it open and get in there yeah and then attack you with an axe yeah, yeah it's not my idea i do it in a camper though no no campers are pretty mm. nice no see i have this weird thing to where i like to sleep in the bed that i sleep in every night then why do we go on vacation because you make me go we don't take our bed with us. <laughs> yeah, but you make me go with you. Because it's enjoyable, Jake. Yeah, well, it's not my choice. 
You're like, hey, we're going on vacation this day. And I'm like, do I have any choice? No, you don't have a choice. Get in the car. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, boy. Mm, can't wait. Can't wait to be in the car with you and listen to all your Ah, no, 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 no. Music. We take turns. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. So, you've been watching anything cool, or have you seen anything mm -hmm. to where you want to recommend something to somebody? Yeah, you guys should really watch MASH. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Hey. You just recommended <laughs> MASH? It's a good series. Why would you recommend that to anyone? It's a good series. Oh man. Our 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 ratings just plummeted to the ground. It's over. No, it did not. It's over. You know what I found out though? What? Nicholas. My child. Yeah, okay. Likes watching Nash. Really? Yeah. That's that's too bad. I was like, because he's watched a, a couple of them with me the other day. Yeah, while you were at work. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I didn't even know you liked it. And he's like, oh, yeah, I like it all. I like a lot of them. Like, okay, cool. See, yeah. everyone likes Smash Jake, just not you. <sighs> it's well, a good series. I can't, I can't believe you. I'm trying to figure out what I want to watch. Do I want to watch Golden Girls or Seinfeld now? Hmm. Maybe you should watch something that you haven't watched 500 million times. I haven't watched Seinfeld 500 times. Really? Really? Are you insane? No. Yes, you have. Why don't you watch a show that you've never seen before? I do. I, I do it all day today. I watch the IG channel. Okay. Let me let me get a little more defined here for you. Uh -huh. I really want to talk Daredevil with you. Oh, I see. You want me to watch that? I just can't get in without you. I just don't. That's a long hour. I've already watched the first episode. We can talk about the first episode. I don't even remember the first episode. How many episodes is there? Ten. No. Five. Thirteen. So if I, how many do you think I have to watch a day to get? It? I don't know. Three. So we we could watch we could talk about it next week if I watch it all week. I don't know why you wouldn't watch it because it's amazing. Because I like watching it with you. I mean, I'm not like about the whole superhero thing, but man, I love watching Daredevil. Too bad they might cancel it. Yeah, well, if they do, they're a bunch of freaking idiots. Well, they canceled Luke Page. I mean. It's Luke, not Luke Page. Luke it's Cage. Luke Cage. <laughs> and Iron Fist. I'm telling Jessica you. Jones is a really good one. Oh, I love Jessica Jones. That's such an, an awesome series. I probably like that one more. No, you don't. Than no, you don't. Yes, no, I you do. don't. Because you know why? No, you don't. Because she's a girl. <laughs> she kicks ass and she don't give a shit. No, you don't. How do you know? Because you don't. Excuse me? <laughs> You're not in my head. <laughs> no. We like Daredevil more. We? Yeah, we. <laughs> no, I like I like uh, uh, Jessica Jones. Fine! But I haven't watched the third season yet, so we'll see what happens. So have you watched anything? Obviously, you've watched Daredevil. Anything I've watched else? Daredevil, and I just got done with the second season of Making a Murder. I'm just going to put it out there. I think he's innocent. I haven't watched second season, so I don't know. Well, see, you haven't seen the new season of Daredevil or Making a Murder because you're too busy watching MASH, The Golden Girls, and Seinfeld. No, I watched the ID channel today because I had to get caught oh, yeah. on my Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. I forgot. You have to watch Golden Girls, MASH, or Seinfeld or 
something where somebody kills someone else. I like murder mysteries. They're interesting. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not. You like watching Paula Zahn with me. That's true. But she has good reporting. She's at least interesting. How you watch murder mystery after murder mystery after murder mystery, I, I think I would be uh, a little depressed afterwards. It's interesting how they solve it. I wish I could solve a murder like that. Really? Yeah. Huh. How they, you know, put together all the clues and the DNA and all that, and then they solve the murder and they catch the murderer. I think it's interesting. I think if you don't start watching Daredevil, I'm going to... No, you're not. You murder really you. You want to say that on a podcast? No, I'm not going to really murder you. Go, calm down. You know I love you! Ow, that was my cheek. Okay, well, that was a good half hour. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's awesome. All right, everyone. Thank you, and we will uh, see you later. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye! Bye! Bye!